everyone. Um, I've got a new camera thing happening here, so let me know um, what you think of the new setup, whether it works for you. I'm hoping it'll work because I've just learnt how to set it all up. So I wanted to do a, um, a murder cup today. I've been wanting to do one of these for myself for ages. So I bought um, the file. Um, I think I bought it on Etsy. I'm not sure. I'll link where I bought it down below in the description box. Now I'm going to switch the angle down so that you can see what I'm doing um, underneath. Here. So, so that worked. worked. Hopefully that's, that's still recording turn the sound off here because the feedback echo was just terrible you'll see it in the next clip along but um, I'm just trimming the vinyl here um, and just getting it ready to put some Mod Podge on okay I'm back um, I'll just just a little bit around the joins, I reckon, will work. Only because I'm a bit nervous about it getting under there. There we go. Okay, I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, I'm back again. I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but I've got my mask on. I'm going to mix up 40 millilitres of epoxy because I've got two cups that I'd like to put a coat onto. So, um, just bear with me while I move that out the road. I've got equal parts here of liquidy split and um, those of you that use this know that it has um, only about a 15 minute work time so you've got to, you want to move fairly quickly um, with it. So there's no finesse around um, you know, stirring it slowly and all of that. I'm just going to get it on there. I can always pop the bubbles later. So you want to, for those of you that are new to epoxy, you want to keep stirring it until it's clear. You can see it's a little bit cloudy still, so you want to keep stirring it until it's, it's clear. And obviously the slower you stir it, the less bubbles, and if you stir it with anything other than a paddle pop stick, you get less bubbles too. So I'm just moving quickly here so that I can get it onto the two cups before it starts to set. Okay. Alright. Let me just change angles for you. this cure now for about three or four hours. Um, I'll move it outside to my curing area so it's not in the house um, and then I'll be back once that process is done. Alright so now I'm going to show you um, how I work on the decal 
in my Silhouette Studio. Um, first of all, I'm going to bring in uh, the design. So I'm just going to open up that. Um, I think, no, I don't like that one. I think I like that one and that one. So let me bring that back. Now I need to make these bigger, obviously. So what I want to do first of all is I want to trace the design because I need it to be um, an SVG, same as this one. So I'm just selecting the trace panel. Um, and turning that into pretty much an SVG so that I can uh, work with it. So I'm thinking that I probably want that to be about oh, maybe um, so it's going to be red anyway so I'll make it red just so you can see what I'm doing and I want it to be about six centimeters by eight centimeters and this one um, it's also going to be red and I want that one to be oh, grab it there I'll make it a lot bigger so you can see so that's now 12 by two. That should be okay to go down the side of the cup, the other side of the cup. So that's what we're working with. So total space, if I do that, is 19 centimetres. And I have plenty of room on my little piece of um, scrap that I'll be using. So let me just stick that onto my mat. Now those of you that use a Cricut, um, one of the first things you'll notice when I do this is that Silhouette is a lot um, louder than the Cricut. However, um, I actually find things a lot easier to do in the Silhouette. I had both, um, Cricut and Silhouette, but found it much easier to do things. Um, let me just move that over a bit so you can see what I'm actually doing here. So I'm just going to send that to, um, to cut. So I'll bring the panel across here and it's default setting is cardstock, but I'm actually going to um, send it down to vinyl glossy. Um, I'm going to change this to ratchet blade because that's what I'm using. And I'm gonna um, up the force a little because I want it to make sure that it cuts through and I'm also going to knock the speed back by kind of one um, one click so so this is what it'll cut right there so I'll send that now um, we should be good to go so you can hear that that's really noisy. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is work on um, my lines. Um, bring in this one. 
and no. Yes. So these lines measure 0.3, so 3 millimeters by 30 centimeters. So I'm also going to cut those to go on my other cup. And for that, I'm going to use some of this Arteza um, pink yellow vinyl as soon as this other noisy thing stops. Okay, so this decal here was really hard to weed because it's so fine in places here. You can see that there's bits missing out of the letters because that's just the nature of that particular font. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to um, offset it a little bit. So let me just do that over here. So I've opened the offset panel. Um, I'll move that down here and I'm going to go offset. Now it's automatically set at 0.2 of a centimetre, so two millimetres, but I want to bring that back a bit because it's weighing obviously too much. So I'm just going to keep clicking. I mean, I could automatically just put my numbers in here that I wanted, but I'm not sure yet how much I want to offset it. So let me just keep bringing that back until I'm sort of happy with, you know, where, where I want it to be to make it a bit thicker. 0.7 um, four. Okay, that could potentially be where I want it to be. So what I've done is that. Okay, don't mind the points, they're just annoying. So hopefully that will print off. Oh, so now because it's been offset, I'm going to need to group it. So I'll just go here and group, and then I'm going to make it red so you can see the difference. See? So it's quite a bit thicker there. I haven't changed the size of it. It's still sitting at 12 and a half by 2.4. But I'm going to, I'll make this smaller again now, and I'll move that back up here, move that out of the road. So what size is it? 12.5 by 2. That will fit. So I'm going to send that to cut, and then I'll, I'll come back when that's done. Okay, um, so um, we're back. Um, I've taken the cup outside I'll just get rid of that so I can see what I'm doing and um, spray painted it white and I didn't actually like how it looked so I ended up just plonking some white glitter on here and I think that looks actually really good so I'm just going to sit that over here to dry and while I wait for that to dry I'm going to just do a little bit of work um, on this cup here so um, let me see if I can change camera angles. Yep, so now you should be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to clean up the rim a little bit more because it's a little bit, um, a little bit messy around there. And I just take my craft knife and just, there's nothing really hard about it. You just got to be careful you don't cut yourself really. So just take your craft knife and just run it around the, the rim here. Now I also cut these decals. So we did we did do the decals, and I was initially going to um, offset them in black, but I don't think I will because I think it will um, 
I think it will look okay with the red um, by the time, well hopefully by the time I'm done with everything I've got to do to it. So uh, let me move them out the road. So I've got, I've got these strips that I cut and I used the Arteza um, holographic vinyl and um, I'm just going to stick it on here pretty much. I think it should look okay. I do need to cut still a decal for this cut, but I'll do that in a second. And I don't think I need to show you how I did that because I showed you how I did the other ones in the silhouette. So I'm just going to take my craft knife and trim that off there. And there and the same on this side okay so that actually sorry about sniffing I always rouse on my grandkids for doing that I'm still sick and um, my nose is just continuously dripping. Okay, so I think that looks okay. Um, so you'll notice that I sanded around and I've left the tiniest, tiniest little um, lip around there, which will give the epoxy something to, you know, sort of grab it onto. So what I'll do is I'll come back um, in a little while when that the bottom of that cup is dry and um, in the meantime I'll go and cut this decal and by that time it should be fairly dry and um, I'll be back okay so I'm back again now um, I'm going to put the decal onto the pink cup and then I'll take you outside and um, we'll do some funky things to uh, this cup so I'll switch views okay now you should be able to see what I'm doing here so um, this is the decal that I've cut and I need to see where I'm going to put it. Maybe about there. It's really hard to try and get it um, so that it's in the middle, I think. I guess if it's not right, I can always take it off and cut another one. Yeah, committed for better or for worse. I mean, it looks pretty good, really. So this one is now ready for its final coat of epoxy so I'll put this one aside and um, I'll get the other cup and I'll take you outside and we'll do some um, blood splatters on the cup hopefully they work out okay so just bear with me okay um, so that part's done I didn't do too much because I also want to put a handprint on here so um, I'll just get the decal sorted switch you down again okay 
So now I want to see whereabouts. It's still a little bit, um, just need to be careful because it's still a little bit wet. Maybe there and this one on the back there. Just get rid of these cords. So hopefully you guys can still see. Don't know where my um, scraper thing is. you think that looks okay so now let me just lay it down this way and we'll put this one on Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Um, now, um, okay. Um, all right, let's hope this works. So I'm going to put some paint on my hands. I'm going to... I saw um, somebody shared a YouTube video of a lady doing this and I'm sorry that I didn't take note of the lady's name but um, thank you for showing me <laughs> um, probably need a bit more paint than that to be honest takes me back to kindergarten actually Okay, might just wait for that to dry just a smidgen, a tiny little bit, and then I will um, Okay. I like that. I like that. Oh. Yep. All right. Just going to go wash my hands and I'll be back. Okay. So that is 
pretty much all I'm going to do to this cup. I think it looks really cool. I just stuck these little hands on here um, because I had them cut from something else. So what I'm going to do now is put a coat of epoxy over it and um, I'll come back when it's all done and show you. There has been no sign of either. 